Why would they want to cooperate with me if they really think I'm Chinese propaganda? They also wanted to come to my house and film me. I think they really inaccurately portray who I am. I really want to promote positive dialogue in this world. Hi, it's uh, Jerry. Uh, in Chinese, my name is uh, Guo Jie Rei. I'm an American. I love my country. Um, for roughly five years, I filmed videos, really soft videos, like really soft topics, uh, food, culture, travel, my cats. Um, it wasn't really until COVID where I started getting all this like, backlash and being called as like, propaganda. The problem is there are now like, three um, US government funded entities all saying the same thing about me, all saying the same thing about my uh, COVID related content. They're all um, calling me Chinese propaganda. They are, they are VOA and RFA which are U.S. government news outlets, and ASPE, which is an Australian think tank that receives quite a bit of funding from the U.S. State Department. So RFA is a U.S. government news outlet, um, and they wrote two articles about me. They really say the same points about me. On their website, it says that they must represent all points of view, but um, they never represented my point of view. They never even contacted me for comment in 2023. So VOA is a, also a U.S. government news outlet, and they wanted to cooperate with me. They wanted to cooperate with me twice. In tw yes, in 2020, they reached out to me, and they wanted to film me, they wanted to interview me, and I, and I wasn't interested. And they wanted my help in giving them content for a new social media channel that they wanted to develop called OnePlus. They also wanted to come to my house and film me. I really wasn't interested. You know, why would they want to cooperate with me if they really think I'm Chinese propaganda? It doesn't really make any sense. So ASPE is this Australian think tank and they receive significant funding from the US State Department. They wrote this really long like, research report where they mentioned me like 39 times. They basically insinuate that I'm Chinese propaganda, um, but they never really prove that point. What I think they do is they actually are just um, echoing the same points that RFA and VOA are saying. So when they released this report, they said funding for the report was provided by the U.S. State Department. They then deleted that sentence. Um, they claimed it was a uh, mistake, it was like a website upload issue. But let's say if they did make that careless mistake, well then what other careless mistakes did they do with the research? That I actually used to be an intern in a congressional office. So, I mean, let me tell you how things work in Washington. If you are a think tank that wants money from the U.S. State Department, it's really good to have allies in Congress. And so for ASPE to choose to release this report uh, five days before their senior analysts went to Capitol Hill is perfect timing. I can say that ASPE is a bully, behaves like a bully. I really want to get back into doing some sort of video work, something, something in English, something about China, of the U.S. and other countries, only positive content. You know, really, really want to promote positive dialogue in this world. Um, you know, I like to tell people that you know, if the U.S. and China could work together, we can we can solve so many issues. And I mean, that really starts with us getting along. And that's something that I really want to devote you know the next few years or my, or my life to.